want, I'm a, I have such a strong personality, as you guys can see on this show. I'm not like that when I meet a guy. I don't want you to be persuaded, manipulated, or anything into what I want you to be. I want you to be transparent so I can decide if it's something I can do. That's, first of all, um, any nigga who lets you do that is playing the game wrong because that is brilliant. Because the whole point... But they don't know I'm doing that. The whole point is to find out who you are so I can be the nigga who you need for the next three months. <laughs> <laughs> but if you flip it, then how am I supposed to be a scumbag? Um. Well, I can say this. Um, my ex taught me this. Fuck early. Fuck. <laughs> she... <laughs> I hang the, with real niggas. Indes- I hang with Julian. You're indestructible. Okay? I hang with Julian. Just I- fuck early. You'll know. I I get your body count. Do, if you if you care about your body count and all of that, then don't if just choose about, niggas a, you like. If a, as a woman, a woman cares about as a woman, if you care about your body count and all that, don't date and talk to every guy that you think is cute. Pick and choose. But when you decide you like a guy because he has a great job, great personality, he's funny, and he looks good, and he has your four or five ticks, fuck him early. Then you'll see the real him. I preach this all the time, and I can't believe another woman is saying it. Yeah. That's like the opposite of the 90-day rule, basically, what you Because saying. I don't believe in it. <laughs> that was like if, a setup for failure. If you fuck early, you fuck. Okay, you have the pussy. Now what? Are you going to leave? Are you going to stay? What are you going to do? Let's just do it. Yeah. Like, all the waiting for the pussy. No, that, you're just that's delaying. a gem. That's a gem. You're delaying the inevitable. You're letting this nigga put on his act. All I'm saying is, if he came here for pussy, give it to him. If he's going to leave, is he going to stay? Whatever he has to do, he has to do it right now. It's my idea that men are hunters. When you're hunting, you're in trickery mode. You're in camouflage. You're hiding behind trees. You're doing what you need to do to finesse to, for your kill. Just here's the kill. But he, uh, but here's like how would a hunter feel? Here's what's special. If the, fucking... if the pussy isn't what he came there to kill, so he would he's get the pussy stay. and still be there. You see exactly because he's but here for your full if heart. He only came for the pussy. Well, all right now. <laughs> and here. and that's what I'm saying. As a woman, it might fuck with your ego. But here's where I say, get in touch with how you feel. You didn't have sex with him for him. We like sex too, ladies. Let's be honest about it. We had sex because we wanted to enjoy that experience with this guy that we liked. Now, let's say the guy that you liked turned out to be a scumbag. That's great. You didn't waste one year. Now you can move on to maybe mm. a possible husband. One nut versus one year. I think it's a huge difference. You the need one to, nut versus one, one year, year rule. <laughs> what does that mean? No, that's what he just said. Essentially, you can find out in one nut which you could have found out delaying that pussy for, for one, one year. For one year. That's let's call this episode that. One nut versus one year. <laughs> one nut versus one, one year. <laughs> yeah. So you should teach seminars because I think it's radical, but it works. Like, well, I'll teach seminars when I have a man again. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, I wouldn't take no advice from no single bitch. Like I don't, see, you got I, all this to say, where your nigga at? I hate that though because <laughs>